The end justifies the means. It is better to be feared than loved, if you cannot be both. The first method for estimating the intelligence of a ruler is to look at the men he has around him. Men are so simple and so much inclined to obey immediate needs that a deceiver will never lack victims for his deceptions. Politics have no relation to morals. Never was anything great achieved without danger. There is no avoiding war, it can only be postponed to the advantage of others. Men should be either treated generously or destroyed, because they take revenge for slight injuries, for heavy ones they cannot. The more sand has escaped from the hourglass of our life, the clearer we should see through it. The wise man does at once what the fool does finally. He who wishes to be obeyed must know how to command. The greatest security for a people is not in fortresses or in the love of their subjects, but in the nature of the government itself. The prince never lacks legitimate reasons to break his promise. The best fortress is to be found in the love of the people. Men rise from one ambition to another, first, they seek to secure themselves against attack, and then they attack others. The first impression that one gets of a ruler and of his brains is from seeing the men that he has about him. A wise ruler ought never to keep faith when by doing so it would be against his interests.
The more you rely on force, the less effect it has. The one who adapts his policy to the times prospers, and likewise that the one whose policy clashes with the demands of the times does not. It is double pleasure to deceive the deceiver. The main foundations of every state are good laws and good arms. Men are so simple and yield so readily to the desires of the moment that he who will trick will always find another who will suffer to be tricked. A return to first principles in a republic is sometimes caused by the simple virtues of one man. The more a man knows, the more he forgives. The best way to win a war is to avoid it altogether. <laughs> 